Two avalanches in two days here at Palisades Tahoe, the latest coming on the Alpine Meadows side of the mountain. Here is a map of where it happened in the Wolverine Bowl area. No guests or employees were hurt or hit by the avalanche. Afterwards, the area was then closed by ski patrol. Those from Palisades Tahoe tell us they had been doing avalanche hazard mitigation prior to that avalanche, and we heard some of those explosions earlier. For the usual, um, you know, blasting right there in the background, you can hear that from, you know, several miles away, but that's pretty typical, typically, if it, after it snows. A lot of, a lot of booms, they're definitely uh, taking care of trying to prevent another avalanche, I'm assuming. This is video of Wednesday's avalanche that killed one man and left three others hurt. Now, as to those noises and those booms you heard, it's likely we'll keep hearing some of those explosions in the coming days as part of the avalanche hazard mitigation, especially when you consider that more snow is expected come Saturday. The explosions basically make man-made snow slides so that areas are safe. We spent Thursday talking with both skiers and snowboarders about this. One said that the mountain can be unpredictable when it comes to weather, comparing it to the ocean and talking about those rough conditions on Wednesday. The weather was, you know, it was snowing sideways, super windy, snowing really hard. I was surprised that anyone really had came out yesterday. When I heard about yesterday, it was just like, wow, so random and it's just rare and really dark. My family's more worried than I am. They didn't want me to come here, but I enjoy it. You yeah. kind of got to live what you enjoy. No strong wind gusts right now and the snow is not falling, but it is extremely cold outside. This cold weather has caused all sorts of problems on the roadways with black ice. CHP even sending warnings out to drivers going along I-80. Expected overnight to get down to 7 degrees. At Palisades Tahoe, J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.